Wembley Stadium of yesterday, those famous white towers. Frank, you know all about playing at this stadium. So iconic. What was it like to actually play in it? Well, you, you come into the temple of football and the world football. You feel that because was, football was uh, invented by the English, that you come into the, uh, the church of, uh, of, of uh, our football and you want to go into it and, uh, and get the experience of it. I had the chance to play the last game at the Old Wembley before it was destroyed. And, and I really think that it was the biggest mistake uh, the, 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 the English football made by destroying everything. I understand that you have to renew stuff and everything, but the history were there. And I came back to see Chelsea winning against Everton in the FA Cup final in the new Wembley, and I wasn't the same. It's too, it was too sophisticated for me. And the, the fact that the, the old Wembley was a bit raw showed the history of, the, of that uh, stadium. That was great. Uh, I played like five or six times at Wembley. Every time I had goosebumps, I felt the, again, that history that everybody is talking about and all the memories you could get. You, you could get. And uh, we, we played the last game and we, uh, we did something uh, very nice. We brought the kids into the stadium, even if the security didn't want. And uh, we were kind of five or six players to do so. And it was very well explained by the press, like uh, it was the old Wembley come uh, getting out with the new Wembley and us with our kids was representing the future as well. So it was a very nice sign. And uh, there was a very nice party after the game. What are your memories of playing at Wembley, Stevie? As a oh, the, only, the only go to is walking out for the game. And when I say before the game, I'm talking about pre kick, just, just before the kickoff. You know, because you, you always get there early and you walk through the tunnel and you walk on the grass and you have a look around and you look around the stadium and you do all the normal stuff. But the next time you, the next time you come out for, for real, for the game, both sides line up, either side of the tunnel, and it's quite a normal situation in the tunnel, and there's the echoing because you're in the tunnel, and there's just a light at the, right at the end of it, because 99 times out of 100, FA Cup final, the sun was always blazing. So right at the end of the tunnel, all you could see was a light, just a light, nothing. But once you hit the end of the tunnel, the light hit you and the noise, just a <clears throat> huge noise, <clears throat> just, just comes all over you. And then the walk from there to line up on the halfway line is about soaking it in and thinking about it and figuring out where you are. And this is something that you used to walk. You used to watch this on the TV only, and now you're actually down right in the middle of it, right in the guts of it. Just incredible. It really was an iconic stadium, wasn't it, Shaka? It, it was. Um, listen, I grew growing up in Toronto and Tobago, you know what the Twin Towers of, of Wembley meant. To, to football and, and I'm with Frank in that you understand that the stadium had to be refurbished it was time but I, I just wish they could have kept kept those twin towers and I know there was a cost element to it etc but um, that old stadium and its design resonated with so many people who grew up watching English football in, in, in so many ways um, alas it's, it's, it's no more it is no more. It is now the Wembley Arch across the skyline in London. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.